for Bitcoin for you for the week. Um, as we can see, uh, we also have BSV here. And BSV uh, had that giant move last week. And uh, I've been waiting for this one to make a big pump up from the price action and, and the what I saw as uh, the bigger whales or whoever buying in this whole range here. And uh, even though they were dropping the prices, I saw the bigger orders to the upside and I was able to basically find their volume. And it made very good sense and I dollar cost averaged in all the way from around 110 all the way down to 80, under 80 in the 79 area. Uh, which I bought way too much of this and uh, but I thought it was a really good trade and indeed as we can see now uh, it did turn out to be a very good trade now I did skip out of half of it early instead of waiting for above um, you know the 180 range um, I took half here because a, a short-term pattern developed and there's a good chance it could go all the way back down to here. And I'll show you that on a four hour. As we can see, we have this pattern here, divergence, another divergence now. And so we have this all showing up here. And it's kind of a, um, you know, the, until this clears, if this drops all the way back here, um, I wouldn't be surprised, but still who cares when you're up as much as you are on a trade like this from, you know, anywhere from, uh, the 110 all the way down to under 80. I mean, I, I've done very well and, uh, to anybody who held on to that, you know, and, and went along with it, you know, nice. Um, again, uh, you know, I, I think we have a good chance that we could pull back and selling it above the prior high in the 155 and above number made made good sense. Um, okay, getting back to Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin, uh, if you remember, I'm focused on these two um, patterns right here. Oh, did you see that? It's separated. Uh-huh. A vector split okay in their code interesting um anyway uh, we have our first butterfly M like pattern right here and this stretched all the way down to here and then we developed our second one now it did trade up to the target area up to here um, if you remember I had a trade that stretched all the way back up to 7700 which executed and I bought down there stretched up to here and then sold all the way back down to 6,900 and then um, it again then made its move all the way up to where we are right now above the 8k range. Now where do we go from here? Um, well now that we've hit this area down here the numbers are to the upside and they have been to the upside ever since this was drawn here with the volume and many other the the dynamics and uh, the analysis that I use all say that this has a high probability of going up to the mid to upper 9,000 range. So that's what we're really focused on right here. And so far the price behavior has kind of supported that. Um, and there's not really much more to look at. The short term ranges have played through and we're really mostly looking for the upper end ranges. Now it can pull back it could go all the way down to like the 7200, um, but I wouldn't expect it to last long there. And there's a, a higher probability of us going up and uh, just not even getting under this by much and, uh, you know, under the 77 by much and then just uh, having a big shift upward based off of whatever news or whatever happens. But that's the higher probability. So that's what we're sticking with right now, and that's all there is to it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week, and uh, we'll be discussing, you know, uh, for what we're going to do with the Platinum service. Uh, a lot of people, from what I'm told, you know, uh, want to keep this going because they've done well. And so we'll discuss that this week and figure it out. Other than that, you guys have a great week.
and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Alrighty, bye.